Hi guys, my name's Mike Wright and I'm a fashion photographer working in London. Today I'm going to run you through a lighting setup from a recent test shoot where I used a Broncolor Parabolic. So I'm going to walk you through this lighting setup in a piece of software called Setalight. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated with Setalight in any way. I just honestly think it is a really invaluable piece of software for photographers like myself who want to test things out before getting in the studio. It's also a really easy way for me to build up a light one by one to show you what effect it's having on the image. I knew I wanted to shoot this with a parabolic. Parabolics basically allow you to focus the light in the same way that you'd flood or spot a film light. If you want a tighter spread of light, you move the head closer to the back of the parabolic. Or if you want a softer, larger spread of light, you move the head to the front. In this shoot, I wanted to go somewhere in the middle. I didn't want a spotlighting effect exactly, but I also didn't want a big soft source. I wanted to find that perfect sweet spot where not too much light was falling on the backdrop and the light itself was really focused in on our model. So let's start with the key light. I've already set up this parabolic here close to the uh, Broncolor parabolic that I'm using, similar size. So let's turn this on and see what we get. So this is what it looks like with just the parabolic and it looks fantastic. It keeps the light fairly focused on our model and it also keeps a good amount of light off of the backdrop due to the placement of the light. We've got it at 45 degrees to the right of Ellis and overhead for a Rembrandt style of light. As a fill light, we're gonna turn on this umbrella. This just brings up the overall fill of the shot, brings up a little bit of the light on the backdrop. We're shooting on a white backdrop and although I'm trying to keep a good amount of light off of the backdrop, I also want it to fall to a slightly medium gray. So turning on this fill really helps with that. And it also brings out some of the details in the lower half of the body as I'll be shooting a wide range of crops throughout the shoot. You can see two black poly boards that we've got set up. And these are basically just to block a little bit more light from hitting that backdrop. Then we've also got a white poly board to the left just to bring up a little bit of fill on the right side of her face. Without it, it becomes a little bit too dramatic for my liking. So as a quick comparison, this is the final rendered image on the left and the final photo from the day on the right. The silver interior of the parabolic creates a very crispy and punchy quality of light. This is something you wouldn't get with a white interior, for example. I tend to stay away from white umbrellas and white beauty dishes because I like the sharpness and the crispiness that you pick up in the finer details of the skin when using these silver modifiers. The quality of light is fairly similar to a silver beauty dish or a silver umbrella, but the beauty with parabolics is the ability to focus in the light so precisely. And that's what makes these very expensive modifiers. I hope some of you found this helpful and please let me know if you did. I'm gonna be putting these type of videos together for most shoots that I do. So any feedback is really appreciated. Take care guys.